Hi guys, welcome to my first ever beauty tutorial. I'm actually so excited to do this because one, I've never done one, and two, this is something that's very close to my heart, the no makeup makeup look. It's something that I've been doing for years because I love the illusion of not wearing any makeup but actually having a little bit of help because we all need it. I'm starting off with a bare face, so I've got nothing on. And I want to start off by saying you're going to see a lot of Too Faced items on my channel and in this video. I am not sponsored by Too Faced, however my dad worked there, so I have a lot of products because you know you got to support the fam. And I really love, love the products I use. I wouldn't use them if I didn't love them. So everything you see here is stuff that I support and this is stuff that I use in my personal life every single day. So the first step is to always moisturize. And I always start off with um, my Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer. This is a broad spectrum SPF 15. Very important everyone to always have SPF on. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on. Okay, I'm one of those weird people that like, I love trying new products, but I can't start something new until I fully finish the old one. So I literally will do this to products until I get everything out of there. There's still like a solid, five uses out of this. So I got my moisturizer, put that on. You'll also notice on my channel that I rarely use brushes. I believe it was Estee Lauder who once said that there's no real need to use brushes. The best way to get the, the best application for products is to use your hands. Don't quote me on that. I, I think it was Estee Lauder, but it was some big, big beauty brand. And it kind of resonated with me because I do think that's kind of true. You can really feel your face and the dimensions of, of the lines in your face with your fingers. So once you have your moisturizer on and it's nice and set, I always start with concealer. Now I know people have mixed feelings about this. Um, I don't think that you need something underneath the concealer for it to work. If you have really oily skin, I would definitely suggest using your favorite primer. I really like the one from Urban Decay, very good one. So for the concealer, I use a ton of concealers in my day. I've got, I always have several of them. I like, I'm addicted. But um, I like either a Race Paste or this Too Faced Absolutely Flawless Flexible Coverage Concealer. And I use them in the lightest shades always. Vanilla, number one, and number one Fair in the Benefit product. I love this one by Too Faced. So there's the color so you can see it. So I'm just gonna use my, my middle finger. And I'm going to start trying to cover these circles, right? So the mistake I used to make when I was younger is I used to just do U's underneath my eyes, thinking that that was going to cover everything, right? So wrong, so wrong. So this is kind of like the base where I start. I have a lot on, actually. Um, so this is kind of like the start. And then I'm going to pull it down to right about where my nose is, just like so. Looking better already. And then I'm going to kind of smush it out and bring it in like a triangle. Okay, so that's like my under eye coverage. I'll, you know, obviously smooth it in later. Next, I like to go down the nose and make a little, just kind of, um, kind of brush it out here right at the top of the nose and over the eyebrows, right? So I've kind of got it here for any, you know, coverage there, down the nose. Then I like to go, I get redness, a lot of people get redness, underneath their nose. So I like to do a little circle like that. I need some, some more. It takes a lot to look effortless. I also like to do a little bit on the chin. So basically you're kind of doing, concealing the T-zone area where you want all your colors to be even. The next step is to go in and kind of fix the areas that are unique to you that need to be fixed. So whether it's blemishes, redness, any discoloration, scars you don't like, this is the time to go in and put concealer over those areas too. Just kind of do a little spot treatment there. I like my freckles to show. That's why I kind of do this spot treatment and not an all over foundation because I think it's really important for a no makeup makeup look to actually let your skin breathe. And I really don't feel that you can do that with an all over coverage. Even if it's a beauty balm, you're still putting a layer over your entire face. And I really don't think, that's just my personal opinion, I don't think that that's the way to a no makeup makeup look. 
So once you're like this, you're going to go ahead and kind of rub everything in and really get it into the skin because there's nothing worse than concealer or foundation or whatever you use that sits on top of the skin. You want it to basically become your own. I get such, I have such big pores on my chin. Luckily you can't see them. And under the eye, I really like to pat it in. That way it's just really getting into the skin. And same with the nose, you just kind of like work it in. Almost done with the concealer, which for me, this is the most important part of the whole process because after this, we're just kind of doing nice little tweaks to enhance our face. I sleep so much and I still have these dark circles. The next thing I do is blush. I think blush is crucial to any, any look. You want to look like you just ran once around the block. So you have that nice like rosy flush cheeks. This is a Too Faced Cream Blush. It's actually cheek and lip cream color in Prim and Poppy. And it's kind of gross on the inside, but I'm gonna show you anyways. That's the color. So I just kind of do a few dots, starting right, almost in line with my, my pupil. That's kind of like the marker I use. And I, you have to find your cheekbone. My dog is doing crazy stuff out there. Again, doing those little pat motions. Putting a little bit just on the lip. Okay, blush is done. Another thing before we move on to the, um, the eyebrows, which is my <laughs> essential. Don't go anywhere without eyebrows, or at least I can't. I am obsessed with any type of illuminator. I think it's so crucial. This one, I'm such a dummy, and I dropped it, so it's like shattered glass, which is not safe to be using, but I'm obsessed with it, so I'm going to risk my life. This is RMS Beauty, and it is their um, Living Luminizer, which I really like. So, oops, got to be careful because I don't want to stab myself, but this is what it looks like. Definitely have to put this in another jar after this. And I go over right above the blush, right above the brow, down the nose, Cupid's bow, and a little on the chin. It's like a long night's sleep in a little tub. So you can kind of see. Done with the luminizer. Oh, I love you. Okay. Eyebrows! Okay. So, right now I'm using this surprising Too Faced Brownie Eyebrow Pencil. This is actually not my favorite though. My favorite is by Billion Dollar Brows. It's their universal eyebrow pencil, but I just ran out to my brows. People are going really over the top with brows. And I have to admit, I love when brows are thick and youthful and bushy, but you gotta do it right, okay? There is a time when it's too much. So the first thing I do is, I love this little tool at the end of the brushes, or at the end of the pencils. So I just brush my brows up, kind of all of them up, just up. So you kind of see where the natural arch is. Now I've watched a lot of tutorials on brows, but for the no makeup makeup look, you want it to just enhance what you already have. So I'm not going to do a full bushy brow for this. A lot of people say to start with the tail, I don't. But that's because I have a lot of holes that need to be filled in. So, Billy, it's my dog. I usually use this part as a point and then bring it out to here and then draw it down. We're adding a little bit of fullness and just a youthfulness to our brows. We're not really trying to over exaggerate them for this look. I always have a brow powder kit on hand in case I need to tweak anything because some days it's just harder to draw on the lines. You know, makeup is art and some days you're off. 
And I think the brow powder, I like this Too Faced Brow Envy Kit a lot, really can help you kind of fix yourself. So I did have a little bit of a hiccup, so I'm just gonna use this like brow stuff. I'm just gonna go around to make them look perfect. I'm just gonna do a little bit of contouring. It's gonna be really light, so you're not really gonna see it, but it'll help in photos, and it'll kind of give your face a little bit more definition. This is not a contour cream, but I love it. It is CoverGirl's Ultimate Finish Liquid Powder Makeup in Soft Honey. So number 455, got it at the drugstore. It's a regular foundation for someone who is this color, but I like to use it as a contour cream. I like it because it's a little red, and it kind of matches the red undertones in my skin. So what I'm going to do is just get a little bit on my brush and then go right underneath the blush. Just like so. And then I like to do a little down the nose, just a little sweep there, a little sweep there, so right here and here. A little on the forehead. And then a little right underneath the jaw, you know, cover the jowls. No, just kind of gives your face a little bit of a sleeker line. And voila! That is my no makeup makeup look. If you want to add mascara, you can. Personally, I don't like mascara with my no makeup makeup look because I think it it really just looks really contrasty on me. That only really applies to people who are really pale like myself. Go ahead, use your favorite mascara. That is my no makeup makeup look. I wear this almost every single day. It's my normal go-to. I hope you guys like the video. Maybe you learned something. If you like the video, leave me a comment. Tell me you know, if you like the no makeup makeup look. What else you wanna see me do? Um, and all that other stuff. I'm so excited, I just feel like I don't know, like I lost my YouTube virginity in a way. Um, but yeah, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and then go follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Feel free to tweet me other things that you want to see if, you, if I'm not responding below. I just want to hear from you guys. I want to talk. I want to be friends. I want to just start this whole process. Um, I love you, and thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>